We are given sets A and B and asked to determine the union of A and B, the intersection of A and B, as well as A minus B and B minus A. Let's begin by determining A union B, or the union of A and B. The union of A and B is a set containing all the elements, which are elements of A or B or both. Another way to think of a union is to combine the sets without listing repeated elements more than once. So analyzing sets A and B, the elements that are in A or in B or both are the elements two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The elements of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight are in A or in B or in both. Next we have A intersect B or the intersection of A and B. The intersection of A and B is the set containing all the elements which are elements of both A and B. So analyzing sets A and B, the elements that are in A and in B are the elements of four, six, and seven. A intersect B, or the intersection of A and B, is the set containing the elements four, six, and seven. Next we have A minus B. A minus B is the set of all elements of A, which are not elements of B. So again, we're looking for the elements that are in A, but not in B. So four is in A, but it's also in B. Five is in A, and it's not in B, and therefore five is in A minus B. Six is in A, but it's also in B. Seven is in A, but it's also in B. But notice eight is in A, but not in B, Eight is in the set A minus B. A minus B is a set containing the elements of five and eight because five and eight are the elements in A which are not in B. And now we want to find B minus A. B minus A is the set containing the elements of B that are not in A. So again, we're looking for the elements that are in B that are not in A. Notice two and three are in B but not in A. Four is in B, but it's also in A. Six is in B, but it's also in A. And seven is in B, but it's also in A. Which means B minus A is a set containing the elements of two and three. Two and three are the elements of B, which are not in A. Now before we go, let's verify this work by completing a Venn diagram. To complete the Venn diagram, we begin by determining the overlapping region of set A and set B which represents the intersection of A and B, which we know contains the elements of four, six, and seven. So the elements of four, six, and seven go in the intersection of A and B. And now let's take a look at set A. Notice set A contains the elements four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, six, and seven are already in set A, which means the elements of five and eight are in A, but not in B, and therefore they go in this region here. Notice how set A does contain the elements of four, five, six, seven, eight. And now to analyze set B, notice we already have four, six, seven in set B, but the elements of two and three are also in B. The elements of two and three go in this region here, they're in B, but not in A. And now we can quickly verify our previous work. A union B, again is a set containing the elements that are in A or B or both, a union B in the Venn diagram would be this region here, where we're again we're combining the two sets into one set without listing repeated elements more than once. Notice A union B is a set containing the elements two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as we found before. A intersect B, or the intersection of A and B, would be the region that's in both set A and set B, which is this region here, this overlapping region. Notice A intersect B is the set containing the elements four, six, and seven. Next, A minus B is the set containing the elements of A that are not in B. So here is set A, the elements in A that are not in B 
would be in this region here, which again is a set containing the elements of five and eight. And then finally, B minus A is a set containing the elements that are in B, but not in A, which would be this region here. B minus A is a set containing the elements of two and three. The Venn diagram does verify our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.